Have you ever seen a lizard with a blue tail? Yeah, we're talking about the vibrant blue-tailed skinks. With their vibrant blue tails and intriguing behavior, make them a fascinating reptile pet. And if you already own one, then you must ensure their comfy and happiness. But how? Well, we are here to help you. So let's dive into the world of blue-tailed skinks care and make your pet parenting a breeze. Petopedia. The first step in caring for a blue-tailed skink is to set up its habitat. You need a terrarium that is at least 20 gallons in size for one adult skink. The terrarium should be long and wide rather than tall to allow the skink to have plenty of space to roam. The substrate of the terrarium should be a mixture of sand, soil, and leaf litter. This will help to keep the humidity levels in the terrarium high, which is important for blue-tailed skinks. To keep the humidity level between 60 to 80% in the terrarium, you can use a humidifier. In addition, you can provide hiding places by adding rocks, logs, and plants to the terrarium. This will help your skink feel secure and comfortable in its new home. And make sure to avoid keeping two or more skink in the same cage. They're extremely territorial, which makes them attack each other. So it will be better to use separate cages. Skinks are ectothermic, meaning they rely on external heat sources to regulate their body temperature. So, you have to create a temperature gradient within the terrarium. To keep your reptile happy and healthy, give them the light of a day. A full-spectrum fluorescent bulb will mimic natural sunlight and give them 12 to 14 hours of light per day. You should provide them a basking spot that has a heat mat or a ceramic heater that maintains a temperature of about 90 degrees Fahrenheit. The rest of the terrarium should have a temperature gradient of temperatures from 75 to 85 degrees Fahrenheit. Furthermore, install a UVB light to provide the necessary ultraviolet rays for vitamin D3 synthesis. This is crucial for proper calcium absorption and metabolism, which helps prevent metabolic bone disease. Blue-tailed skinks are insectivorous. They eat a variety of live insects including crickets, mealworms, waxworms, and cockroaches. It is important to gut load the insects that you feed your blue-tailed skink. This means feeding the insects a diet of high-quality food, such as vegetables and fruits before you feed them to your skink. This will help to ensure that your skink is getting the nutrients it needs. You should also dust the insects that you feed your blue-tailed skink with calcium powder. This will help to prevent your skink from developing calcium deficiencies. Besides their diet, you should also maintain their feeding schedule. Not all skinks have the same schedule. It differs based on their age and size. Young skinks require more frequent feeding, usually on a daily basis, while adults can be fed every two to three days. Adjust the portion size based on their appetite and size. This feeding routine ensures they receive the necessary nutrients without overfeeding. Next, you need to check on their water. Always provide a clean and shallow water dish in the terrarium. They not only drink from it, but also use it for soaking. That means the water will get dirty quickly from sand and debris. So, replace the water daily to ensure it remains fresh and accessible. So, you want to handle a cool blue-tailed skink, huh? Well. Slow down, they are not aggressive, but they can be skittish. It is important to handle them gently and to build trust slowly. And when you're ready to give them a friendly pat, just remember it's all about being chill and making sure they're comfortable. Start by letting your skink sniff your hand before you pick it up. Once it is comfortable being handled, you can start to hold it for short periods of time. Yeah, the interaction shouldn't be too long than 10 to 15 minutes because that will make them stress. When you're done with the interaction session, gently plop them back into their pad where they've got their hidey hole and fresh water. But don't handle them daily as they don't like to be handled much. Oh, don't forget to clean your hands before handling them because any strong scent or greasiness of your hands also makes them stress. And you definitely don't want that, huh? If you have the skink as your pet, then definitely don't want your little vibrant skink suddenly get sick. That's why you need to monitor them regularly. Keep an eye out for changes in behavior, loss of appetite, 
lethargy, or alterations in skin color. If you notice any of these symptoms, consult a veterinarian experienced with reptiles promptly. Routine checkups will help catch and address potential health issues early. Also, if you have children in your house, teach them the proper way to pat them. Because they are fragile creatures and can be easily injured if they are pat them too roughly. So, be gentle with your skin and make sure your kids don't squeeze it. So, these are all about how to care for a blue-tailed skink. Hope you have found this video insightful. Let us know what you want us to talk about next. Thanks for watching the video. Like, comment and share this video if you find it useful. Then, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for further updates.